Hello, welcome back. You are tuning in to Acrylics by Kat McHale. Hello, I am Kat, AKA Kathy, and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you. I hope you've subscribed and that you like and comment on my videos. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the little bell and say all. That way you get notifications of all my videos. And um, you can see on there too, the other artists that I watch and who I've learned from. Uh, they are a wealth of knowledge, whether they know it or not. Um, there is a whole slew of them and the ones that I have on my channel um, are not necessarily all the people I watch. Uh, I try to watch a little bit of everybody to learn a little bit. Everybody has their own tips and tricks and things. And so um, a little while ago, I attempted to do a feather string pull. I attempted it twice. I may show you bits and pieces of that video, but uh, it was not successful. I love the feathers, but uh, it's a work in progress for my skill at it. All right, so I wanted to do fluorescence and I decided I wanted to do an open cup with fluorescent colors. And now that I think of it, I didn't even cut a cup. So give me a second. Okay, I'm back. I cut my cup. Um, I'm not very anal retentive about things like this. So it's very jagged on the top, but that's not what's important. It's the bottom that's important. So we're good to go. So I'm going to do a black base and I'm doing all fluorescent colors. I'm doing fluorescent red, fluorescent pink, fluorescent orange, and I don't know why I said pink, <laughs> fluorescent yellow, and fluorescent blue. I do not have, for some reason, fluorescent green. So I am using Brilliant Green. All of these are Liquitex Basics paints, except for the black, which is Amsterdam's Lamp Black. All right, so we're gonna get started. And I'm gonna pour my puddle. This is, oh, by the way, a 10 by 10 Artist Loft level three canvas taped and pinned. I love the pins because then you can move it from point A to point B without having to shuffle cups around. The cups are good for some things, depending on what you're working on, but I really like the push pins because it just makes it so easy to go from my table to my drying box. I know a lot of people don't like to move their work and they leave it right on their table, but then if I do that, I don't have any place to work while something is drying. So, I do move them. I hope everybody's having a great Sunday afternoon. It's hot and humid, of course, all over the half the world, I suppose. I'm not gonna worry about that drip. Um, just going to let my cup gently do its thing in there. And so me and the dogs are just hanging out in the air conditioning and, um, my husband is, I don't know where he is. He's off playing somewhere. Um, he did a lot of work yesterday, so he's entitled to go play wherever he feels like it. So I don't even know what colors to start with. So let me go. Let me go with the green first. Just add a little more black in the inside. Whew. I'm not being very good about drips. So we'll do a little bit of green. And we'll do yellow. Was that entertaining? Okay, then I'm gonna do orange. All right, I think I'm losing my mind. You probably think so too. And then let's do blue. I'm gonna turn my canvas because things seem to be floating the other direction and I can feel a little wobble, a little wobble. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should have checked for levelness, which I'll be honest, I did not do. Okay. Somebody on a motorcycle going by, if 
you heard that. I certainly did, but we're a motorcycle household ourselves. So I always pay attention. Okay, we're starting to get some pretty cells. This is gonna be pretty, I think. All right. Let's, I'm going this time, I'm going to prevent drippage by doing this. No silicone was used in this. My paints are mixed with just Floetrol and water. And I think after this round, we'd probably have enough paint. I mixed my paints yesterday which is nice. I'm getting in the habit of trying to do that. A lot of artists recommend it. And um, it does make it nice because it's so much work. You can whip out a painting in just a few minutes, but that's not the case with, um, obviously, with mixing the paint. So I'm just gonna do a spot of gold. Okay, so I think that's enough paint. I hope that's enough paint. Hmm, what do you think? Do I need more paint? I like the way the gold and the black are reacting in the cup. That's why I'm trying to get that. Be nice to have that in the middle. But I don't know if I have enough paint. Let's do this. Let's do this. I hope everybody's healthy and safe. It doesn't look like there's much end in sight for the world we currently live in. It's very depressing. I hope everyone is keeping occupied and checking on loved ones. It's one of the reasons why I started doing these videos is just, a, it's an outlet. I don't really care if people, well, I do care if people watch, but speaking of people watching, all right, I think I'm gonna be done with this. Ooh la la. Um, speaking of everyone watching, I am currently up to 38 subscribers since about the middle of June when I started this. So please get your friends and neighbors to watch, subscribe, like, comment. When I get to 50 subscribers, I'm going to celebrate. I don't know how yet. Um, it's a very trivial thing probably for most people. Um, but for me, it's a fun adventure. And if I never get to the 100,000 or 150,000 that my friends like Canela, I think Olga, Solby has over 200,000 and Fiona, I just, it just, the names go on and on that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And if I could only get to 100. So please help me out. Check me out, help me out. Come on friends. I know you're out there. You know who you are. Okay, so let's get back to business. What, okay, I lost my train of thought. First thing I wanna do is I want to torch. 
don't know what to do with that middle. I think I'm gonna swirl it up a little bit with my stick. But what did I do with my stick? There it is. Okay. This poor stick has been through a lot. There. That's a little better. A little better. Let's get you in the center. Let's start stretching out. Trying to keep you in the center. I don't know why it looks blurry. It's almost as if I took a blurry photo. Oops, sorry. Again, my tilting skills leave a lot to be desired when it comes to the camera probably more so than they just do in general and i'm not liking this i'm really not why why that's kind of pretty but why does it look like i took a blurry photo okay so what are some of my fellow friends in this Art world say, when in doubt, fix it. Lots of ways to fix things. I could pour more paint on it. I could dibble dabble on it. <laughs> like I did with my stick, silly rabbits. All right, I need a paper towel. Your paint all over the place. That is really pretty. But why isn't that? Look at all the sparklies from the gold. Gosh, I really don't know what to do with this, except, like I said, when in doubt, swipe it. Maybe I'll swipe it this way. I don't know, people. I really don't know. I don't know what to do with it. And that wasn't it. All right. I'm going to turn it into a swipe. And see what happens with that. And then if not, I'm going to scrape it. All right. Today's been epic fails. I haven't painted in a week. I've been trying to catch up all my finished paintings. So I drop things on the floor. Finished paintings and getting them all done and put away so that I could focus on new stuff. I only have two more paintings to three more paintings to finish. Okay, so damp paper towel. I'm just gonna go across here. And I have no clue what this is gonna do.
However, we will let paint magic happen. and hope it turns into something pretty. I see some cells try to pop, although I wasn't really expecting a lot of cells. Okay, I'm gonna pause it. We're gonna let it fester and I'll be back. Maybe. <laughs> All right, so I have to admit, not a whole lot was happening. So I just, on my gloved hand, rubbed in a little bit of silicone and then I went like that. And voila. Again, this whole thing is not what I was looking for, but it's actually pretty. And I think once it gets done doing its thing, it'll even be prettier when it's dry. But we shall see, we shall see. So, live and learn in the life of art or anything else in life, sometimes things don't turn out the way you want them to. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And if you don't like the lemonade, scrape it off the canvas and start over. But I, I think I'm gonna let this be. I think it's um, proving to be a le little interesting. And look, when I do this, I can see that most of my silicone went up there. I'm gonna let that stretch a little bit. I'm just gonna tilt it this way. Cause there is a lot of paint on there. I think all in all, it's really not bad. Okay, so two fails on the feather, one fail on a cup pour, open cup pour. That's three fails I've had today. So maybe that was, those were my last. Bad things happen in three, look at that. That's actually turning out to be pretty. To be very pretty. Again. That is the beauty of this technique, these techniques, is you could do just about anything you really want to do. What I was trying to do is get rid of that negative space, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. And I don't have enough color in my leftover paint to make it look right. So I'm just gonna let it, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Cause the weather outside is frightful. It's just freaking hot. All right, I'm almost done with this. I just would like that corner to go a little bit more. And I don't think it's going to. Yeah, it did a little, it did a little. And then maybe, maybe baby. Pick up some of this color and
hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. I'm just trying to put a little color there because it just looks odd. So blank. Here, let me find some color under there. And I'm just kind of trying to spread it to make it look like it should have been there all along. Okay. So I will bring you down for a close up and let you check this out. I think it's kind of pretty. And I'm thinking I like it that way. Oh my. What happened there? What, where, did, where? Where did that come from? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Not a happy feeling when your pin falls out. But that straight line going through there's got to go. I don't know how to fix it. Okay, but at least that's not a straight line anymore. All right, now. What am I gonna do about this pin issue? Because it's really hard to push a pin in the back of a canvas. Anyway, let me fix that problem and I'll come back with a close up. Okay, here it is, close up. I actually think it's pretty interesting. I love the gold, how it mixed in, and I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but it is really pretty. So, okay, we saved this one.